सब्सक्राइब एडम टेक टू गेट न्यू वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकन I guess in this video I am going to discuss about how to import Excel data in Tanit. So in my last video there I discussed about how to import text and CSV file inside or Tanit, Tanit Open Studio for data integration. So let's see how to import Excel. So first I am going to show you the Excel file that I am going to use. So this the Excel file has all three columns, country ID, country name and region ID and this the record inside there. Now here after add here, also record only inside seat 1, not in seat 2 and not in seat 3. So add here let's go to talent and here right click and here you can find create file extension. Click there. Now you have to get the meaningful file name. So add a writing import Excel. Now if you want then here you can keep the purpose and description. So both two are optional. Now here after click on next and here after browse the file. So file is in add your desktop. So this book one file I'm going to use. So at here you can find the extension .xls and here .xlsx. Now click on open. Now here, so from where which seat you are going to import. So at here the file records inside seat 1. So select there and here this is selected. Now here after the next thing is so here this the records inside there. If you want then here you can make that bigger. Make that bigger and here after click on next. Now here after the next thing is so UDF it's selected it's a fine. Now here so I don't want ABC so I want add here column country ID country name and region ID. So add here select to or said had row as a column names. Refresh that. So it's a PDV. Now here you can find two records as in good format. Now from here if you want then here you can select the header. So if you want then you can make this header. So you should increase add here too. Now here after metadata column string it's fine here. Now if you want then here you can select other option like uh, uh, windows 1 to 5 to if you replace so no any changes you will get at here. So no any changes now here after click on next. So at here we need to set at your column. So if you want then here you can modify the columns. So it's a uh, string it's fine. Now I'm going to make that primary key. So it should be not be null and here after if you want then here you can change the length also. Now here after so here let's give a name. So giving at here a file Excel. Now if you want then here you can give the comment. So if I click OK so I get this message schema set or setting changed and are different from the current scheme view. So let's click on OK. So guess in progress. So add here or click to update. If you want then here you can update. OK. So again I got to previous things. So here I want to this to make this or uh, add here primary key and it should not be null. Now here after click on finish. So add here import excel file successfully imported inside talent. Now here from here you can add here if you click there here you can find name author date creation all those things here. Now here if you go version so this is the version add here. Now here after retrieve schema. So add here retrieve schema so add here. This is the metadata, so you can give add here. 
I'm going to write at this point import Axel. Now click on case. So case is in progress. You can find country ID, country name, reason ID. If you want, then here you can add by clicking add plus. You can add here by clicking this one. You can cross delete. Now let's click on OK. So add here the new file. It's a created import. So file action. So this is the next way we can create to add here new files inside Excel. So this is the simplest process add here. So this is the previous one. Okay. And here this is the I just created. Now here after the, if you want then here you can expand. So if I click on add here, this is the country ID. If you want then here you can add it the schema at this point. So this is the simplest way we can import Excel file in talent. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.